I get so many people telling me that, you know, Buck, when I grew up, my grandpa, I had to watch Gunsmoke with my grandpa. And I said, yes, you had to watch it because you were told to watch it. You didn't want to watch it, you had to watch it. And they said, yeah, maybe I was told, but you know what? The lessons were great. And kids are still watching it. I'm, I'm amazed, you know, I'm, I'm 80 years old and, and uh, I was the young guy in Gunsmoke at the time. Little kids come up to me, three, four, five years old, and, and their folks are saying, that's him, that's him. And they kind of look at me and go, eh, I don't know if that's him or not. And then I start talking, they say, well, it sounds like him, but it don't look like him. <laughs> but that's me. But they, they still know Gunsmoke. And it's fascinating to me. I, I run into thousands of people all year long and I direct them over in this direction that go see the real Dodge City. Because on Gunsmoke, we did incorporate some of the real happenings that happened here. And uh, it is television history. But when you come here, you can see the real history. And I would, from the, the bottom of my heart, and I mean this seriously, visit Dodge City. Well, they said gun smoke, fictitious characters. It had nothing to do with our history. <laughs> fictitious characters, yes. But that's what people come here for. I was very blessed, oh, five or so years ago, I can't remember. Well, actually, it was 10 years ago, the 50th anniversary of Gunsmoke and some of the actors that are still living. And, uh, uh, but the real treasure was there were some of the original writers and I shared my dismay with the disrespect for Gunsmoke, which all of the guests, even the younger ones, know of it. And he said, you tell those people. Yes, they were fictitious characters. But also tell them we went to a great deal of pain and effort and research. We developed the characters of Gunsmoke around real people that were here at that time. Many of the stories are based on stories of things that actually happened here. So we owe a debt to Gunsmoke. Thus the tribute, the little, and I love it. I'll go in there any, any day, any time of the day, and there's somebody sitting at the couch watching Gunsmoke or staring at Miss Kitty's dress or Sam's vest. You know, we're, Dodge City has benefited greatly. Uh, and, and, you know, like we talked about before, we, we uh, were indebted to our past. Uh, people have, our, our, our community has prospered financially because of our Western heritage.